Um, it would probably be better to say of the year. Best movie of the year. Best book of the year. You say in 2007, in 2008, yeah, but when you're talking about an, ob an object like that, best book of the year. It was one of the most popular songs of the year. Uh, you said very talented at his field. We would probably say in his field, or you would say at his job. He's good at his job. He's um, one of the best in his field. You said he found out he got a uh, cancer. Not only do would you not use the word a, uh, but you would not say he got cancer. He found out he had cancer. He found out he had cancer. I have cancer, not... I. Got cancer. Yeah. And at the end you said tester. It just sounded strange. Tester. You could just say the person taking the test, the student taking the test. Or you could maybe say the test, if you want to just say it's short, test taker, maybe. Ted, you said invest money on their business. You usually invest, you always say invest in, not on. Uh, and then you said, accept this article, blah, 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 accept the ar this article. You would want to say other than this article mm -hmm. instead of accept. Uh, you said you don't have to cut your nail at night or you don't have to. Instead of saying don't have to, you want to say can't or shouldn't. Mm -hmm. Don't have to means it's not necessary, uh, it's like <laughs> that. And then you said shaman. What did you mean by shaman? Just, I'm curious. Like probably say fortune teller. If you say shaman, it sounds a lot like some witch doctor or some tribal type thing. Just to me, personally. Shamanism is a word. Even I would have to, you know, uh, look it up. But when I hear the word shaman, it sounds like some African tribe or some <laughs> witch doctor or something like that. Sajin, um, my friends let me know. I would say my friends told me, especially with, some, with just some news or something, they told me. It can make you failed on the exam. Just say, uh, how would you say? It can make you failed on the exam. It can make you fail the exam. You don't need on the exam. To fail the exam. It can make you fail the exam. No on and... You can drop the ED as well. Mm -hmm. And this, you didn't say this. This was Myeongjong. Well, um, Myeongjong, you were, I'll just, I wrote it down on the wrong, as the wrong person. You said, fell the dishes? Yeah. What did you mean? Drop the dishes? Yeah, drop. Okay, drop the dishes. Uh, and then Seijin, back to Seijin, sorry. It came as a jinx to me. Just use jinx as a verb. It jinxed me, right? Mm -hmm. I think. It can be a verb too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it can be either. It came as a jinx. That sounds strange. Okay. It jinxed me. I don't want to let that jinx me. It's fine mm -hmm. to say like that. Uh, Tehi, there are good days for moving. It's fine, but just because there was no... The, I wrote it down just because you were coming into that sentence with no background... I wasn't sure what you meant by moving. Mm -hmm. You might want to say uh, moving house or something like that, be a little more specific. Mm -hmm. But then I understood. But then you followed it up by saying for movement. Mm -hmm. You cannot say that. Movement as a noun is only going to be talking about like physical movement. Mm -hmm. Moving, for moving. Mm -hmm. Or for moving, a lot of times we'll say moving into a new house. Mm -hmm. Moving into a new house. Or just, we sometimes just say, do say for moving. Pronunciation, I, maybe I just heard you wrong. It sounded like you said 20th. It's 20th. You need the eh kind of sound in there. It sounded like you said 20th, like teeth. 20th. But you need 20th. There's a e, eh, a short e sound in there. It sounded like you said 20th. Uh, and then you said in real, the three were all bad. In reality, yeah. instead of in real or actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Yongdong, you said Priest Valentine. Maybe Saint Valentine? I don't know. I've never heard of someone called a uh, priest. I know what a priest is. 
I've never heard him, call, I know the character, I've never heard him called Priest Valentine, usually they call him Saint Valentine. It didn't came, it didn't come, right? You don't need both of them past tense. Uh, it's very anxious for him. Usually we say, I'm anxious, I'm quite anxious, don't be anxious. It's a little bit strange to say it's very anxious for him like that, for the for him part. Maybe just he is very anxious, it makes him very anxious. The fact that you're adding for him onto it makes it sound a little strange. And then, uh, as you said, his teammates are very sorry for that. If you're sorry for something, it's probably because you did it. So I, I think um, the word for there probably doesn't make sense. Also, maybe the word sorry might not be what... They are very s annoyed because of that? No, not annoyed, right? Maybe you could change the word. I, I wasn't quite sure what you meant. He's buying the glove. He's buying the new glove. So why do his teammates care? Why? They worried about that. They are very worried about yeah. that. Maybe instead of sorry. Yeah. They are worried about that or worried because of that. Instead of sorry. Sorry might not be the right word. And then Tegu, you said good day for wedding. Um, you could say, you, just you could add the word, ah, oh, good day for all wedding. Or probably in that situation, you were talking about the decision. So you might want to say a good day for getting married. Actually sounds better in that instance, because you're talking about the decision of getting married. Or a good day to have a wedding. Uh, how you make up your name. Probably instead of make up, say choose, probably. Uh, unless you're really trying to emphasize... Uh, the inner workings of the name and like how every uh, you could I mean how to uh, design the name but no that wouldn't make sense I would just say choose not make up make up is to make up a story or to kind of uh, imagine make up make up an excuse something like that and then you said dating with you go on a date with, you went on a date with, or just, I was dating. You would not combine dating and with. And then last one, again, you said, we are becoming well, you are becoming well. That sounds a little strange, becoming well. Uh, you are becoming close, mm -hmm. or you guys are getting along well. The problem with that, getting along well sounds more like co-workers or friends. Uh, you guys are becoming close, it works for a couple, but it's emphasizing the fact that you guys are becoming more intimate, not just everything is okay. It's emphasizing two different things. Uh, you guys are getting along well, your relationship is going good, your relationship is fine, you guys are becoming close is a little bit different meaning, it, obviously it's quite similar. Any questions? Well, if it's not related to the relationship, and but 